हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज दी सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ लेट्स रिकॉल वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो नेचुरल वेजिटेशन सो नेचुरल वेजिटेशन वो डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री ग्रुप्स फॉरेस्ट ग्रास लैंड एंड डेजर्टिक स्क्रब्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द फॉरेस्ट दे वर क्लासीफाइड इन टू ट्रॉपिकल रेन फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल डेसिड्यूस फॉरेस्ट टेम्परेट एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट टेम्परेट डेसिड्यूस फॉरेस्ट Mediterranean forest and coniferous forest. And now we will learn about the rest of the classifications. That is tropical grasslands, temperate grasslands, tropical deserts, and tundra regions. So, so we need to understand that what are grasslands. Grasslands are areas where the vegetation is mainly grasses. They are usually found between the drier areas and the wetter areas. They are known by different names in different places, like. In South America we call it pampas. In North America we call it prairies. In South Africa we call it wilds. And in Northern Africa we call it savannas. Starting with the tropical grasslands, these occur at the either side of the equator and extended till the tropics. These vegetations grows in the areas of moderate to low amount of rainfall. The grasses can grow very tall about 3 to 4 meters in height they cover much of africa as well as the large areas of australia south america and india elephants giraffe zebra deer leopards are the common in tropical grasslands talking about the temperate grasslands temperate grasslands are located in the mid latitudes these are home to many large herbivores Some of these includes bisons, gazelles, zebras, rhinoceros and wild horses. These can be divided into tall grasses areas and short grasses areas. Now talking about the thorny bushes, these are found in the dry deserts which are located on the western margins of the continent. The vegetation cover is scarce here because of scanty rains and scorchy heat. xerophytic or drought resistant vegetation includes cacti and thorny scrubs which have the ability to store water and even survive with very little of it small desert animals like uh, jackal rabbits snakes foxes lizards kangaroos rats scorpions etc are found here polar regions this is called tundra type of vegetation This vegetation is found in the polar areas of the Europe, Asia and North America. The animals have thick fur and thick skin to protect themselves from the cold climatic conditions. Common animal: seal, walruses, musk oxen, arctic wolf, polar bear and snow fox. Now talking about the mountain vegetation. a wide range of species is found in the mountains according to the variation in height with increase in height the temperature falls at a height between 1500 meters and 2500 meters most of the trees are conical in shape these trees are called coniferous trees shear pine and deodar are important trees of these forests now look at this graph as we know both temperature and rainfall both are important component for vegetation to grow this graph is also showing us that let's understand look at the arrows firstly at the bottom it says as we move from left to right means from zero latitude zero latitude means equator there is decrease in precipitation that is rainfall now look at the second arrow it says as we move upward from 0 degree to 90 degree latitude temperature decreases it is becoming colder now understand that under tropical region tropical region means where the temperature is quite hotter it is because it is near the equator area which receives maximum rainfall is the rain forest and minimum is the desert area you can see that shape and the size of the vegetation is also decreasing now moving upward towards the middle latitude 
we are also in decreasing with the temperature means it is becoming quite colder over there so now you can see the maximum precipitation receiver is the forest and minimum is the desert again moving upward coming to the sub arctic region where the temperature decreases more so it becomes a taiga region what was the taiga region that is the coniferous forest the trees are very tall and have the shape of conicals fine moving upward that is the arctic region it is the tundra region where the cold is maximum there is less temperature beyond the arctic and antarctic circle is the tundra vegetation belt where the winter are long and bitterly cold and the growth of all vegetation is confined to a very short cool summers forest growth is impossible and very small plants can be grown you can see in the picture that a very small small plants or grasses can be seen so this is the effect of the latitudinal effect which we call and uh, as the temperature decreases and as the rainfall decreases this is the effect on the plants you can also say that even if one of the component or one of the factor is removed from the vegetation ground so the vegetation changes can be seen now coming to the map it is the india map of natural vegetation with different vegetational uh, ranges you can refer to the areas where different type of vegetation can be seen in india thank you